Maybe you're like this guy. You're bummed out because there's a girl out there you really like and you want to ask her out. You've wanted to do this for a very long time, but you haven't brought yourself to do it because you're so fearful of rejection. In this video, you're going to get three ways how to transform your thinking for the better when it comes to rejection from women. And we're starting with the first idea now. Number one, find your blood type. I'm sorry to break this to you, but there's going to be women out there that are going to reject you no matter what you do. You have to accept this. But in order to make this easier to accept, let's look at it in the concept of blood typing. Let's say you go to a blood bank and you donate a pint of your blood. There could be someone out there in desperate need of blood. They need a couple pints to save their lives, but they cannot accept your blood. It's nothing personal on you. It's just your blood type. To make this illustration simple, let's say that your blood is in group A. It's group A because it has A antigens on it. In a similar sense with your personality, who you are as a person, all your quirks, what makes you unique, it's like the antigens on your red blood cells. But let's say we give your blood to a group B person. Notice they have antibodies that are anti-A. What's going to happen when we give your blood to this group B person is that their blood is literally going to attack yours. They're going to recognize it as foreign. They cannot accept it. Is this to say that your blood is bad? No, it just means it's not compatible. In a similar sense, if you be yourself with a woman and she rejects you, does that mean you're devalued or you have to change your personality? No, all it means is that you're not compatible with that specific woman. If it doesn't work out, you don't say you're a loser and you have to change things. You just say it wasn't a match and you look for one who's more compatible. Number two, use the 10, 10, 10 rule. The 10, 10, 10 rule is a series of questions you'll ask yourself to help you realize how emotionally resilient you are when it comes to rejection. Now, a few months ago, I was with a good friend. We were walking around the mall and this pretty girl caught his attention. For well over 20 minutes, he was debating on whether or not to go over and talk to her and ask for her number. I was playing the wingman, I was encouraging him, saying all the good things he had about himself, but he just couldn't bring himself to ask. He was so fearful of rejection. But then I shared the 10, 10, 10 rule with him and things changed for the better. I told him, look, let's say you go over there and you ask her out, the worst thing in the world happens. Not only are you rejected, you make a fool of yourself. How will you feel about that rejection 10 minutes from now? Well, I guess I'll be embarrassed and feel a little foolish, but honestly, I'll feel good that I tried. Okay, what about 10 months from now? How will you feel about it? <laughs> 10 months? I, I won't even remember this girl 10 months from now. Okay, how about 10 years from now? <laughs> he didn't even give me a response. He started to laugh. He realized how ridiculous he was being so fearful of this rejection. My friend, I'm happy to say after these series of questions, he walked over confidently and got that girl's number. You see, he was so fearful of rejection, didn't even want to try, but then he tried and got the yes. The same might happen for you once you realize how emotionally resilient you are. Number three, stop rejecting yourself. It's very easy if you've experienced rejection throughout your life to expect more rejection to come in the future. But have you ever thought that maybe you're getting these no's in life because you're saying no to you? Now, I would say go about changing that to raise your confidence, but you may be focusing on the wrong areas. A lot of people make this mistake. They may think, I need to be more muscular. So they go in the gym, they build their muscles. I need to have a more successful job. I need a nicer car. But those things are not a part of who you are. Your character is who you are. So I want you to answer these questions. Am I kind? Am I generous? Am I trustworthy? Am I loyal? Am I a good listener? Would I honestly make a difference that's a positive one in this woman's life? If you could answer yes to these questions, you should be saying yes to you because you're adding value to this woman's life. She's going to benefit from you asking, trying to pursue her. Keep that in mind. Say yes to you, and I'm telling you, there's a great chance she'll start saying yes right back. When it comes to overcoming rejection with women, think about your blood. You could go donate a pint of blood, but there's going to be people out there who need blood desperately that can't accept it. In a similar sense with who you are as a person, accept that not everyone will take you in. Focus on the women who will. Number two, when you're in a state of mind where you don't want to try because you're fearful of rejection, ask these three questions. Use the 10-10-10 rule. Let's say the worst thing happens, you get rejected. How will you feel 10 minutes from now? 10 months from now? 10 years from now? I'm sure when you walk through these questions, you'll have the same results my friend did and be more courageous when it comes to asking a girl out. 
And lastly, stop rejecting yourself. I want you to stop focusing on the outside parts of who you are, your physical attractiveness, how much money you have, how smart you are, and focus on your character, something that's built to last, something that will really make a difference in women's lives and just about everyone's. Are you a person who's loyal? Are you kind? Are you patient? Are you loving? Are you generous? Do you honestly want to make the world a better place? Do you honestly want to make a positive difference in this world? If you do, say yes to yourself. I will tell you, women and just about everyone else out there will want to say yes to you too. If you found this video valuable, you might find this video I've done on loneliness a while back helpful as well. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Each and every week, I'm going to give you a video that will transform your thinking to transform your life. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.